These are the best animations that the top 10 YouTubers are currently using. So in this video, we're gonna have several different play styles to look at and different heights to look at these dribble moves from. But the first YouTuber we are going to start with is Simply Grinding. Now, Simply Grinding is on a six foot three and under build. He is on a traditional point guard demigod type build. And these are the signature styles that he is rocking. Now, listen. I watched grinding on day one and I was thoroughly impressed with the way he was moving. You guys heard me say in my top 10 builds list that he actually created a really good build. This is one of those times where the gameplay is actually lining up, okay? The build isn't just good and the creator sucks. Grinding is having a phenomenal year and he's on pace to be one of the better guards in the game and that's part and party to these signature styles that he's rocking. So if you guys are somebody that's looking for these smaller guard signature styles, I'd recommend you guys to check these out and also check out the other ones that are coming up in this video because these are the top 10 players currently on NBA 2K25. So all of the signature styles are coming from competitive players and players that you can trust will have the good moves on. Moving on to YouTuber number two, let's go ahead and talk about Joe No signature styles. Now Joe Nobs is not the type of player who is going to spam dribble moves to get open. Joe Nobs is an IQ type of player and a guy who is going to use moves to his advantage in order to make the play. He makes the simple plays. Sometimes it's not the prettiest and sometimes it's not going to wow you. But as you saw in that last contact duck and right there where he just made him hit the nay nay, sometimes it is going to wow you. I would recommend these signature styles for my ISO players out there, okay? Joe Nobs is one of the best ISO players on NBA 2K. And the signature styles that he is choosing to run are meticulously picked for a reason, okay? He spends a lot of time in the builder. He spends a lot of time looking at his animations and he's choosing these because they get him a lot of space. They're very efficient to chain together and they're very easy to use, okay? He's not an over dribbler. He's not a dribble head. He's simply dribbling to score, which is not the same as this next creator right here, okay? The next creator on the list is Fantasy Season. Now, if you know anything about Fantasy Season, Fana is one of the glitchiest guards on the game when it comes to pure dribbling, especially early in 2K, okay? I'm talking September, October. He's really dialed in around these months, okay? He is always one of the first people to have the best dribble moves in the game. Fana spends a lot of time in the my court just sitting there labbing up dribble moves, and he also has a community of people around him who take these things very serious. So they're not playing no games, okay? When they get the game, they are in the my court for hours, labbing finding the best dribble move. This one's a little bit more explosive. This one gets a little bit better of a turn. He's the type of guy that's going to lock in for these two months and show why he's known and why he's respected in this community. He's not the type of guy that's gonna play the game all year long, but guess what? It doesn't matter because what we need are his dribble moves right now, and he's absolutely blessing us with them. So if you are somebody out there who wants to be a dribble head, you wanna be a dribble demigod, and you wanna show off the handles for days, then you wanna go ahead and copy my boy signature styles. Now, a lot of the big men and wings have been complaining in my comment section saying they're getting no love. So look, I read the comments. Comments, guys i respond to every single comment and if you guys don't believe me give it a try i respond to every comment i guarantee you i respond to yours so this right here is joey 2k okay aka this is kevin durant man as you guys saw from his signature styles he is pretty much trying to be kd and i'm gonna be real look at his gameplay he's very kd-esque okay he is on a six foot ten kd like build i talked about it in my top 10 best build videos if you guys did not check out that make sure that you check that out after this but he is absolutely moving on his 610 and he's showing you these bigger builds are definitely viable a lot of people were thinking that you had to be on a shorter build in order to be successful but he's deading that narrative early in the game with his six foot ten kd build and obviously you guys don't have to copy his signature styles to at but they're pretty dang good, okay? He's had a lot of success with them, and I think you guys will as well. The next creator on this list is Hank the Tank, and Hank the Tank has been an absolute dribble fiend since NBA 2K17, okay? Hank the Tank has been a phenomenal dribbler ever since he came into the community, and he is locked in this year, okay? He has not been around in a while, but as you guys can see, He's already labbing up the crazy stuff. He's already trying to get the best sauce out there. And this is absolutely necessary because he's the type of guy that can dribble on a big build and also dribble on a small build. 
So having his signature styles is definitely something that's gonna help us moving forward because he is somebody that is very, very consistent in the realm of dribbling. He's one of those guys that every single year, no matter what the new dribble motion is, he's gonna figure it out. It doesn't matter what engine they put on the game. He's gonna learn how to expose it and get crazy. Now he's currently on a smaller build, but it would not shock me in the slightest to see him make the transition at some point to playing on a six foot six or just a bigger build in general because he's the type of guy that likes to challenge. When he sees that he could get on a little bit bigger of a build and go crazy with it, he's likely to do that. And I know some of you guys watching are like, man, that's it. That's all we get for when it comes to the wing and big man dribble moves. You're going to give us one guy, one 6'10"? No. For my next creator, we have none other than Power DF. DF or get left, magenta, you jump, I dunk. We have all of Power's signature styles. Now, Power has a very unique play style, but every single year, it seems to be an efficient one, okay? It might not be the prettiest, but look at that. Just a little jab step into a snatch back into a three. It's nothing too flashy, but one thing about Power is he plays the game the right way. He may not sit here and spam. He may not do the craziest things, but he is always moving very well on these low ball handling builds. Not everybody that's watching this video has a short guard or even a guard that's bigger that has a ton of ball handling. So if you are somebody watching this that is a lower ball handler type player, you can put on power sigs and go absolutely crazy because year in and year out, he finds a way to do it. These dribble moves do not require a ton of stick skill and there's not a huge learning curve. It's something that you can use these moves right away and just be effective. So if you guys are somebody that's looking for animations that maybe aren't as challenging and are still gonna be as rewarding, make sure you check that out. Now for my next creator, we have former DF, Solo, Solo's turn, it's Solo on YouTube. Now look guys, I just flashed his animations on the screen. This guy has been absolutely living in the mic court, okay? This is damn near his second home at this point. And the trend for majority of these creators is they are on these six foot three and under builds that have the better dribble moves. So if you guys take a combination of everybody that I've shown you so far and mix it up and make it fit to your play style, you guys are going to easily have the best moves in the game. I'm not telling you that you should take these guys dribble moves and animations and just apply them the exact way that they did. But what you should do is test out all of their animations that you can and see which ones that you guys like. Because these guys are spending hours upon hours in these game modes, labbing these dribble moves out in order to learn the best animations. They're doing all the work for you. All you guys gotta do is take the work and see what fits you and see what you guys like. Now, as you guys can see, again, the trend of having a shorter player is here, but if you've noticed, everybody has different animations, okay? Like I said, I'm hitting you guys with a variety of animations to choose from so you guys can pick the ones that you find the best. Now, right here, we have YouTuber by the name of a monster. I'm sure you guys have heard of him. He is a park legend. He's been around forever. And kind of like Hank the Tank, he has always been a really glitchy dribbler. Now, one thing about the monster is he's very efficient when it comes to it. He may be sitting here showing out for the cameras and spamming, but when it comes time to play, he's just using his moves efficiently. So when I see the moves that he has on, I know he's using these to not only just like swag a little bit, but really be an efficient type player. He's not somebody that's just fiending for clips and looking for ankle breakers and trying to put things on YouTube. So when he has these dribble moves on, I know that these are efficient dribble moves. I know that putting these dribble moves on right away, I can say, okay, these moves might not look as cool as some of the other moves, but I can guarantee you that they are equally as efficient, if not more, than the other moves that we have been watching from some of these other creators. And number nine, we have Young Precise, the Pro-Am legend, number one overall draft pick in SEBA. He is that guy, okay? So for my Pro-Am people out there, he usually has some of the best Pro-Am dribble moves early in the game. So for my guys that like playing rec center, cause I know some of y'all are watching this video and you're like, look, I'm looking for more five specific moves. I'm looking for more 5v5 proving grounds or rec center or just Pro-Am in general. Young Precise is the guy, okay? He already has some really good moves that are gonna get a lot of space. And I think that you guys will be successful if you guys put these moves on. I would not recommend these dribble moves if you guys are an ISO player. That's why I've kind of been specific in telling you what the play style of each person is. Precise is putting dribble moves on to work with a screen because again, he is playing 5v5 and he is three hunting. But as you guys can see, he's already moving pretty well. He's getting space pretty well and it's looking pretty solid. If you guys are looking for moves that you can three hunt behind a screen with, I would recommend trying out Precise's for yourself. And last but not least, we have the God himself, Mr. Chalk, the guy that you're listening to, okay? Now look, 
I'm going to go ahead and bless y'all with my signature styles, okay? Because look, I've been going absolutely crazy on this six foot six. And like I said in the video, there's not a lot of people that are playing on these bigger builds, especially not YouTubers. Most of the YouTubers want to be on these builds that are just lightning quick off rip. I'm out here trying to play smart and efficient and just get to my spots. Kind of similar to Joe knows just at a different height. But as you guys can see, don't get it twisted, okay? I create a lot of space on this build and I would recommend you guys to try out these animations for yourself because I have been going absolutely crazy in the park with them. But yeah, let me know in the comment section whose dribble moves you guys like the best and what you guys wanna see on the channel moving forward. Like I said, I respond to every single comment and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. As always, it's your boy Chalk. Stay tuned for more and I'm out. Peace.